Hello everyone, this is Dr. Elias from the Department of Education, Hazara University, Mansera. In some of my previous presentations, I have discussed the, the nature and definition and characteristics of qualitative research in social sciences. This particular presentation is aimed at a brief um, description and discussion of the definition and characteristics of quantitative research in social sciences. Um, and so we will begin this with a broader definition of quantitative researches um, in social sciences. So quantitative research in social sciences um, can be defined as research that is representative of positivism. And positivism is a, a philosophical basis or a philosophy regarding social reality which has which is based on the belief in the objectivity of social reality or in other words social phenomena or social reality is objective and empiricism which actually means the experiential basis of knowledge or knowledge that is attained through the use of our senses and a belief in the theory and practice of quantification of social phenomena. That actually means that social reality or social phenomena could be measured um, quantitatively or could be reduced to quantitative categorization. Um, now we move to the more specific characteristics of quantitative research. Um, the first one is that uh, in quantitative research is generally uh, we come up with objectives and research questions that are precise and clear um, at the very beginning of the research process. So um, in qualitative research is generally the research objectives and research questions are more fluid and, and open in, especially in the beginning of the research process but in quantitative research is um, there is need for more um, uh, res for our research objectives and, and research questions that are more precisely and clearly defined. Then the second characteristic of quantitative research is, is that the variables that are the, the dependent variables and the ind independent variables and the various concepts that are uh, that we aim to explore in a particular quantitative research study are predefined uh, pre or, or well defined in the very beginning and they are actually based on established theories. Uh, the third characteristic is that the focus on theory testing rather than theory generation. So uh, like in qualitative researches the focus of the research is generally on the development of a theory uh, through the data that we gather, that we collect and analyze. But in quantitative researches, it is generally the other way around. And so uh, we already have a, 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 a particular theory or a set of theories that we want to test through the collection and analysis of empirical data. The next characteristic is that well-structured and the, uh, these type of um, researches are researches where we have well-structured and pre-planned research designs. So again, in comparison, as we know that in qualitative research researches, the research designs are flexible and they are exploratory and so they are open to change um, in accordance with the demands of the particular situation. But in quantitative researches, generally the research designs are pre-planned and they are well structured in the very, from the very beginning of the research process. Um, the next important um, uh, component of the research designing process is the actually um, thinking about the data collection tools uh, such as questionnaires or checklists or scales and so these questionnaires or checklists or scales um, 
that are used in quantitative researches are pre-structured. Um, and so there is less flexibility or in some cases no flexibility uh, even uh, in the structure of questionnaires. So quanti you, you, you might see that quantitative researchers um, have to prepare uh, questionnaires and checklists and scales and other such tools of data collection in the very beginning of the research process and they are um, they come up with pre-structured type of questionnaires and other research tools. Then um, samples in quantitative researches are generally pre-decided. Um, uh, again, in comparison, we know that in qualitative researches, the process of sampling or the selection of samples um, are actually uh, is a process that is flexible um, and that is that that we can do through an inductive approach. But in quantitative researches, samples are generally pre-decided. Secondly, samples are larger as compared to qualitative researches. And the, the, the other very important characteristic of quantitative research samples is that samples should generally be representative um, of the populations, which is generally not a requirement for uh, samples in the qualitative research designs. So these three main um, characteristics of the samples of quantitative researches include that uh, we generally pre-decide, so we have samples um, selected in the very beginning of the studies and generally samples are larger so that they are representative of the populations and they are representative um, and so steps are taken for making sure that the samples are representative uh, of the populations. Then validity and reliability um, of the quantitative research designs are generally um, ensured through the means of um, statistics or so they are calculated statistically. Um, then the next important um, aspect of research is the data collection process. And in quantitative researches, generally the data collection process or scheduling is uh, pre-planned and very structured. And the researchers know in advance uh, how to go about data collection, how to proceed, when to proceed, and so there is even a timetabling over there. Then data, quant data is generally quantifiable and open to statistical analysis, numerical, and it can be calculated as opposed to the qualitative researches where the data is generally not quantifiable and it generally it is not um, analyzed using statistical uh, tools. In um, quantitative researches, the data is numerical, that means uh, the data is uh, actually in quantities and in numbers and it can be um, measured and it can be analyzed uh, using tables and other statistical processes and tools. And then the next very important aspect of quantitative research is or characteristic of quantitative research is that the results of quantitative studies are generally statistically generalizable. Generalization or generalizability of the results of quantitative research is, um, is something um, that distinguishes it from qualitative researches which are not uh, open to uh, uh, quantitative generalizations. And the last one in this list is the replicability or repeatability of the process. So as we know that the, um, the research objectives, the research designs are quite structured and the research designing process is quite elaborate and 
clear and in many cases unidirectional. Um, as a result, there is greater chance of replicability or repeatability of the process.